So you know, Andy, I've recently discovered that a lot of people don't realize that they can unlock their phones if it's an Android phone quite easily. You know, and that's one of the reasons why I like Android phones. It's so easy to unlock. iPhones, it, you have to go through a lot of hoops to uh, get that thing unlocked. So if you've ever wondered about how, like, what the process is, there's different services, internet services, that you can subscribe to that will give you an unlock code for your phone, and it's super simple. Now, I recently tried two of them, CanadaGSM.com. Which I would recommend it. You recommended, and Cell Phone Unlocker. So I'm first going to tell you about my experience with Canada GSM. I hated it. What? <laughs> yes. First of all, the site was ugly, and I didn't trust it, and had you not recommended it, I would have not believed that it was a legitimate site. Okay. The messaging on it was really hard to follow. Um, what happens is you have to, when you're unlocking your phone, you essentially have to go in and it asks you for the IMEI number and maybe explain to people what that is. Yeah, it's kind of like the fingerprint of your phone. So every phone has this different number. It's about 10 digits. You can find it in the settings uh, section of your Android phone. And what it does is like, say someone steals your phone, you can tell that that's your phone if you know that number. It's, it's like a DNA right inside there. Which is awesome. And that's all that these third party providers need in order to send you an unlock code for your phone. So I entered the IMEI number and then it just sent me a message back on Canada GSM saying, great, thank you, we'll get back to you. And I was like, when? When are you gonna get back to me? When is my phone gonna be unlocked? I'm really excited. And it, they never got back to me. So I followed up with them and it turned out I entered the wrong IMEI number. I'd mixed up some characters in there. That's long. And, yeah, and which is easy to do. And the frustrating part for me was why make me wait that long? So I got impatient and I went over to Cell Phone Unlocker, mm -hmm. which was Mike's recommendation. Oh. Yeah, Mike might have beat you out on this one. So what happened on that one was the interface was still really ugly, but they checked the IMEI number right away to tell me it was valid, to tell me. And they were better at communicating to me how long it would take and getting back to me. Okay, so, hold on. Well, which one was cheaper though? Oh, yes, and Cell Phone Unlocker was cheaper. Really? So you lost on that side too. How much? So it was $5. How much? So GSM, Canada GSM was, uh, I think, $19.99 yeah, yeah, or somewhere yeah. around there. Yeah. And uh, Cell Phone Unlocker was only around $15. Really? Yeah. Okay. So $5 difference. Yeah. So there you have it. I'd go with Cell Phone Unlocker. Um, and for those of you that didn't even know you could unlock your phone if you're traveling overseas or want to move to a different carrier, I highly recommend it for $15 to have all of that extra um, freedom, as I would call it. It's a no-brainer. Right, Andy? Mm -hmm. I still like Canada Why? Uh, it's, my first it's just you're so stubborn. It's my first stubborn. <laughs>